This word problem is a very typical word problem for 4.2. Um, it's actually a grade 11 question that you've probably seen, um, but now what they're going to do is they're going to change any of the angles to radians, and now it's automatically a grade 12 advanced functions question. Okay, so this question right here is a very popular um, test question. Let's just go through it, and this is the only question we'll do for the video. Okay, so the arm of a boom crane is 10 meters long. What I'll do is I'll start to go through my diagram at the bottom. So this is the boom crane right here at 10 meters. Because of the location of the construction site, the angle of the inclination of the boom of the crane has a minimum value of pi over 6. So what they're saying is that the angle right here is going to be pi over 6 to the ground, um, and that's the minimum angle. Okay, but it has a maximum angle of pi over 4. In other words, this crane could then extend higher. Um, notice that the length of the crane doesn't change. It should still be 10 meters, but the angle might change to a maximum of pi over 4. Okay, um, so what we have here is um, a question that's asking us for the vertical displacement of the end of the boom crane as an exact value. In other words, when they say vertical displacement, I think about the vertical length. So I'm just going to call them X and Y, and we want to know, well, what is the displacement between those? So um, in other words, you're going to take Y and subtract it by X eventually. That'll be your very last step in the question, and you'll get your displacement vertically. Okay, so why don't I go through the steps? I'm just going to redraw it here, and what I've done is I've highlighted each of the triangles and I've separated them. We really have to look at them separately in order to um, not get confused. Okay, so we have a yellow triangle and then we have the blue triangle um, down there. So in order to do this type of question, it is a special triangle question. So you have to map out each of the special triangles onto the yellow and the blue triangles. This one is starting to look like that isosceles triangle and this one looks like a special angle from the scalene um, special triangle. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill out the rest of the special triangles. We know that this is also a pi over 4 and then we're going to get the 1, 1 and root 2. This will be the pi over 3, so the opposite of that is that root 3, the opposite of the pi over 6 is the 1, and then the hypotenuse will be the 2. So here's the thing. This is not technically 2. We've been told this is 10. So the original special triangle has been magnified a certain amount. And this one also should be 10. But we had said that originally it was root 2. So this has also been magnified quite a bit. So to figure out that magnification or scale factor, what you have to do is you have to divide what it has become by what it was originally. So what I have here is a scale factor. 10 divided by root 2 is going to give you some sort of fraction, and I've rationalized the denominator. Okay, So then I'm going to get 10 root 2 over a whole number 2, and I can break that down to 5 root 2. So this right here is a scale factor. Basically what I'm saying is the yellow triangle has expanded 5 root 2 times to get from this number to the 10. Okay, so this one, that was a lot easier. From 2 to become 10, well, you know that the triangle has expanded uh, 5 times. In other words, 10 divided by 2 times. Yeah, that's a 10. Sorry. Okay, so now that we've figured out one side, why don't we figure out the rest of the sides? I'm going to multiply each of these other sides by 5 root 2, and now this makes more sense. This new triangle will be 5 root 2, 5 root 2, and then 10. Then we're going to multiply these sides by 5, and we can figure out what those answers are going to be. So this new triangle is going to be 10, 5 root 3, and 5. Okay, so again, all I've done is I've taken the original and multiplied it by 5 because that was the scale factor. Now that we have all of the new sides, well, now we have y. y is 5 root 2. And we have x, which is just 5. So to figure out the displacement, I'm just going to subtract them. 
Okay, so at a lower angle, it's going to have a, a height of 5. And then at a larger angle, that boom crane is going to extend and it's going to be even higher off the ground, 5 root 2. So to figure out the displacement between the max and the min angles, I would then subtract the vertical um, heights. And that would give you, I, I guess we can't really subtract these because one has a root and one doesn't. So let's just leave it alone. And I believe we were talking about 10 meters. Therefore, I know that the answer is in meters. Okay, so like I said, this is a question that you've probably seen in grade 11. Um, what they can also do is they can also ask you for the horizontal displacements. So then you would just say, well, this is a longer horizontal than this one. Therefore, the horizontal displacement would have been 5 root 2 subtract 5 root sorry, 5 root 3, subtract 5 root 2, okay? So this type of question, they could ask you either for the vertical displacement or the horizontal displacement, and the only difference between this and grade 11 type of question is the fact that the angles are in radians.